You know, elite athletes use multiple ways to reduce inflammation to speed their recovery after intense workouts, but inflammation is a problem for people battling countless conditions. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now after hearing from researchers who think the future of fighting inflammation is in technology. It's all about inflammation. Generally speaking, inflammation is how our immune system responds to something that's irritating. Now, that could be an injury or an illness, but an intense workout can also trigger inflammation because your body essentially views it as causing an injury. How athletes minimize inflammation is critical to their success, but researchers think that is just the start of what's possible. When you exercise or do a vigorous workout, you stress and strain your muscles, and sometimes the muscle fibers actually tear. When that happens, your immune system responds by calling in white blood cells. And that starts a process that we've all experienced with sore muscles and aches and pains and swelling, and that's inflammation. Dr. Kevin Tracy studies inflammation at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research at Northwell Health. He says inflammation helps repair injured tissues, but it can also impair performance. That's why athletes are constantly trying various methods of reducing inflammation, including cold plunges, massage, acupuncture, cupping, and kinesiology tape. The go-to starting point for treating inflammation uh, during training or exercise is ice and cold therapy. The practice of using cold to treat an injury dates back to the ancient Greeks and it works. There's pretty good evidence now from clinical studies that putting ice on an injured joint or on an injured muscle uh, decreases the amount of inflammation in that joint or in that muscle. But Tracy believes the future of managing inflammation may be more high tech. His research focuses on the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest nerve in your body. Um, there's actually two of them. You have one on each side of your neck. And what my laboratory discovered is that reflexes in the vagus nerve can also suppress or turn off inflammation. Devices that stimulate the vagus nerve are already being used to treat epilepsy, depression, and more. Tracy sees the potential for such devices someday replacing anti-inflammatory medications for patients with severe inflammatory conditions. We're living in an era where uh, we can see a time potentially where computer-based nerve-stimulating devices on the vagus nerve are used as the primary therapy. Now beyond more extreme therapies, we can all do things to reduce inflammation. Chronic stress, insufficient sleep, and too much sugar actually increase the amount of inflammation in our bodies. So reducing stress, getting enough sleep, and eating a healthy diet can all lower inflammation. Back to you.